Okay, Adam, um, fine victory this afternoon, 3-2 against East Furrick. Um, first 15 minutes, I didn't think it was great, but wouldn't say scored. We grew into the game, made chance after chance, and finally we converted some. No, yes, um, bit, there's seem a bit low on confidence at the moment, so you can't knock the, the players sort of endeavour and spirit like today, I thought. Um, you know, going behind and then fighting to get back into the game, and then I thought we had a good spell and created a lot of chances, um, and then it was like a um, bit of a sucker punch to then concede when we did. Um, yeah, our throw-ins today, we didn't kick the ball once, I don't think, first half on throw-ins, um, so it's a little bit to work on there, and yeah, and then they score a worldie, a bit of deflection, it goes flying past Harrison, um, and then you've got to show that character again, and I think it's important we score just for half-time. It made the, the team talk a lot different, and um, yeah, the, just scoring at that right time really made a difference today. Um, but yeah, you can't fault. I still feel there's more quality to come from us. Um, individually, there's some players that can bring a little bit more. Um, and collectively, as a group as well, I think we can, can do better over bigger periods in games. Um, but you see, when we sort of do get, get it right, we are a threat still to, to the opposition. Yeah, like I say, you made, made plenty of chances. Um, some good performances at back, I thought. I felt probably the first goal was av avoidable, um, so we did sort of gift it to them. But like you say, we had the fighting spirit, and yeah. and that, that, that's we need to see that in every game, don't we, to, yeah, to of keep it going? Yeah, of course we do. I think that's got to be the, the basis that we build from, really. Um, as much as we like to play like we do, and there's a few grumbles in the crowd today for us playing out from the back, but we've done it for... for uh, four years now and got success with it so I don't know where they're all appearing from but um, yeah we still keep playing how we play and I think the the first goal that we actually scored coming from us I think Aaron stepping out with the ball and then we made a couple of passes and got some overload so and got plenty of bodies in the box so um, yeah that's that's why we do it for anyone got any crumbles and why we play out from the back just look at the first goal um, yeah it's, been, it's, it's Good day around, up, up to six, like I think I said in the interview the other day, that, you know, a couple of wins and you, you, you're up there. And again, straight away, we, we're sort of straight back up there, aren't we, in contention? Yeah, um, like I say, just to focus on today's performance. And like I say, there's lots of to be pleased with. Um, I thought second half, we, we rallied well and showed a lot of resilience, but, you know, still relying on Harrison making a save. So, you know, Got to, got to be better still, but yeah, created some chances second half as well. But to keep the clean sheet second half, I think is is important, and this uh, could give us something to, to build on. I think that's ultimately um, we know we create chances and score goals, um, but we've got to be um, better defensively as a team um, and try and keep more clean sheets. Yeah, and I thought I thought the substitutions today by yourself were very good. Yeah. and, and oh. had a positive oh. positive impact on the game. No, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they changed shape, went to a four, and then I think they were just starting to get an extra um, body out wide. Um, so, yeah, we changed to a four ourselves, uh, put Pat in the left back and Miki out wide just to sort of combat that a little bit, but still wanting Marv to go a little bit higher to fret with his, his pace and that's getting behind. And, yeah, I thought we looked, looked dangerous a couple of times and looked a little bit more um, sure at the back. And, uh, yeah, the, the subs, like I say, Thought they could have a big impact than they did today. Yeah, and it was chalk and, chalk, chalk and cheese to Tuesday night, wasn't it? And hopefully we'll bring this sort of performance to Leverhead on Tuesday coming. No, yeah, there's a, a few changes. Um, maybe, you know, a um, few players with a bit of a point to prove after being left out. But it wasn't that. It's just, you know, we've got players at the moment. You know, Jesse's had a few games out with a hamstring injury. Um, so, you know... It had been a bit of a risk, I spoke to Sam, it's a bit of a risk, he can only play 45 really at maximum on, on Tuesday. Um, so we'll have to assess him, I'm hoping he'll uh, be available for Tuesday, um, obviously with the rest on the weekend now. Um, yeah. Hoping that one or two will be able to um, carry on and get, get some more minutes on Tuesday. But that's just what we've got at the moment. We've got like Dayson struggling a little bit with his hamstring, so we've got to see how that is, got to see how Jesse is. and. Uh, you know, one or two others, Danny Barker was cramping up at the end, so yeah, we don't want to make too many changes if we can, we want to get a bit of a settled team now and, and start flowing with it, um, but if some are, you know, called upon us, then players need to be ready to, to step in, I'm sure they will. Excellent. Congratulations to Adam. And